Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. And so I have woken up early this morning because it is super super early. It's 7.45 a.m. But I've woken up early today with the sole purpose of bringing you a brand new video. Yay. So today we're going to be exploring this thingy. The fusion reactor. And in case you don't know, pretty dope. Pretty dope. So we're gonna be taking a look at the setup and everything today. I think I'll have to split this video into two parts again. But don't worry, part two is not hard at all to do and it will probably come out it's good to say today, maybe tomorrow. So, without further ado, let's begin. Quick fun fact, fusion energy is my favorite type of nuclear energy. Which makes me even more upset that it doesn't actually really kind of exist in real life. So, um, normally you would grab the fusion reactor core component, which is this one, and then place it down, and then it will give you a scheme of what you need to build. So, yeah, uh, you're gonna need a lot of magnets and a lot of uh, superconducting stuff, even some reinforced glass. But uh, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to assume, since well, it's easy to follow this, I'm going to assume that you've already built it and just have no idea how to use it. So, this is your fusion reactor. Oh, this can't be obtained in. in okay, there we go. So, here's your fusion reactor. And if you click it, it'll open up a GUI. This is the internal energy buffer. Let me just go into the battery there real quick. You put a self charging battery. But you will need a large backlog of energy to be able to, you know, um, actually even kickstart this reactor. This is the plasma chamber. As you can see, deuterium, tritium, plasma. There are different types of plasma, like, um, hold on. You're just over here. Yeah, deuterium, tritium, hydrogen, deuterium, hydrogen, tritium, deuterium, helium 3, xenon, and mercury, and bale fire plasma. So, those are all the types of plasma you can choose. This is the water buffer, as you can see quite big so you're gonna need loads and loads of water for this and this is the ultra density and buffer before you do anything else um grab yourself a reactor blanket which um you can craft in different ways i'm using the tungsten uh, carbide fusion reactor blanket which is made with 96 neutron reflectors which is done by this smelting tungsten in a in a blast furnace and 32 blocks of tungsten. Pretty pretty straightforward. So place the blanket in the slot, and as you can see, the inside of the reactor will actually change. This is the inside of the reactor without anything, without any blanket. And this is the inside of the reactor with the blanket. Now there are different types of blankets, like the dash blanket, the chlorophyll something magnet, and the uh, vaporwave um, blanket. So, yeah. So, first of all, go over here and place your plasma heater. Go a couple blocks away and then place your plasma heater. And as you can realize, here we have a buffer for deuterium and a buffer for tritium. Now, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use this with the deuterium tritium plasma. So, place a um, battery or something. You need to also supply this with power. Just keep that in mind. And well, um, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to grab some. Um, there we go, some tignetium steel barrels. And you're also going to need the deuterium and tritium fluid identifiers. Mm -hmm. There you go, fluid identifier and tritium too. There we go. Oh, no, that's wrong thing. There we go. Well, I didn't get it. Come on, give it to me. Give it to me. There we go. 
So now, um, I'm going to use steel barrels. You obviously need to have a whole production plan for deuterium and tritium. Um, place your place your deuterium and let there. I'm going to be using infinite fluid barrels. You do need to keep this reactor constantly supplied with um, deuterium and tritium because otherwise you know, the plasma inside will dissipate and it won't, it won't work. So keep that in mind. Another infinite fluid barrel. And so that's our output. And as you can see, we're starting to generate deuterium, tritium, plasma. Now this plasma will stay in the plasma heater, which is a bit of a way of a, of a waste. You should probably just yeah, you should probably just um, just do the plasma afterwards because it will. Oh, never mind. Okay, so you can pre-produce the plasma if you want. So <laughs> after that, let's set up the water inlet. So grab your universal fluid ducts. As you know, I have potato PC, so I always use the coated ones. You can use the normal ones. Place um, a couple big ass tanks. Um, it really, really depends on the plasma you're running. But even on on the basic plasma, this is gonna eat up a lot of water. So make sure you've got that. And the routine in a bit will um, we'll do the the actual, you know, um, what's it called? The the water loop, the steam loop. Okay. Identify the, uh, all these with water and place heavy infinite water tanks or whatever kind of infinite water supply you have in there. And it should start filling up any moment now, so yeah. Just keep doing this until they're all filled up. You can see this is starting to fill up. There we go. So while that is filling up, um, also by the way, this is a pretty cool irradiation chamber, aka breeding chamber. I'll be showing you how to use that in a minute. So extend some fluid ducts in the other direction or wherever you want, and grab your turbines. I'm using Leviathan steam turbines, which can be made with 10 generator bodies, 1 beryllium flywheel, 3 steel pipes, 16 reinforced turbine shaft, uh, 3 titanium steam turbine, 5 reinforced turbine fan blades, 6 big steel shells, 32 steel plates, 12 titanium plates, and 16 titanium steel ingots. So come over here and place four turbines. You can make them evenly spaced if spaced if you want. Um, I think you can build a, a second set of turbines if you want, but it's not required. Now grab steam. Um, we need ultra dense, super dense, dense, and then normal steam. So yeah. And also low pressure steam, of course, as is routine in all these reactors. So go over here, link these up, and identify those with ultra dense steam, and then these two with super dense steam, and then these two with the dense steam and then finally steam and well also low pressure steam just, just leave that hanging temporarily now go back and quickly um, um, put these so for the first one you're gonna need it to be all the way there for the second one you're gonna need it to be there for the third one, just do once, and for the fourth one, you don't need to do anything. It will, by default, process steam. Now, grab some coated red copper cables. 
and this is where you're gonna have your energy grid. This reactor is self uh, self sustain self self sustaining. I'm pretty sure. So in a second we'll extend um, all of the um, all the red copper cables so they can so it can continue supplying the solar and things like that. So now bust out your wait not on. <laughs> yeah bust out your cooling towers which you can make with 128 concrete, 32 steel scaffolds, 25 steam condensers, and 2 steel pipes. Just, man, I always get confused with that. And just start placing them down. Place about 3, then link all these up with low pressure steam. go. On the other side we're gonna do the water output. So this is just totally a bit more bland I know, sorry. Water. It's just that I don't really have anything of note, you know, it's just it's just kind of already by the box. The design is built in. Water. Just keep doing your water loop. And there we go. So now the water that we consume will automatically be condensed and cycle back. So now let's, ex let's extend our red copper cables. And then just place them anywhere. I think here is a valid spot. You can check with the normal ones because they will automatically connect. So, yes, it is a valid spot. So just place it there. Um, oh, and also, and also extend these towards the plasma heater. Now obviously, if you are making this in your survival world, we'll probably make this a lot tidier. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just making it like this. And that's everything! Now, all that's left is to run your reactor. Just go over here and press this button. Hold on. Why isn't it? Why isn't it going into the? Don't tell me I'm like one block short. Come on. Uh, pain. So I was one block short. Oh my god. Just grab. Grab these. Don't worry. It's an easy fix. Be very very careful. Okay. Don't let that happen to you. Tritium. There we go. And grab your infinite battery. Infinite battery. There we go. And just place it in there. It'll start filling up. And then. And as you can see, we're getting some plasma type. And if you look through the observation windows, you'll see this this cool plasma looping around. Now if I take the battery out, you can see it's self-sustaining. And the same over here. Wow. It looks like you do need some kind of auxiliary um, grid. So, uh, so I'm just going to put in a self-charging battery. Yeah, 
that's somewhere enough. Um. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm an idiot. It's because I didn't connect these. Oh man, I was so scared. Okay, now it's self-sustaining. Okay. And you got a bunch more power to use in theory. So let's use the let's take for example the the electric press. The um the electric furnace if I can find it. There it is, and um, what else consumes the light power? I don't know. I'll just use these two as an example and because this is what I currently have electric press, electric press. Let's make four electric presses, and then a bunch more electric furnaces. See, no competition. It's all immediately filled up. So, yeah, that was a quick tutorial. It was a lot shorter than I initially thought. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Uh, remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Sorry for the small issue at the end with the plasma heater, but I just placed it one block short. So, yeah, that was how to build a fusion reactor. I think this is the second most powerful reactor in this mod currently. And it's pretty dope. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you have any comments or suggestions or video ideas, in the, then uh, I'll, I would gladly appreciate you putting them in the comments and then I'll take a look at them and. And may, who knows, maybe I'll do a video on them. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe once we get to like 100 subs or something. Which I don't see happening in the near future, but it's gonna happen someday, right? Anyways, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace out, gamers. This has been The Chosen Individual, and I'll see you next time. Bye!